It is the 15th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. And if you want professional news, watch Fox. We're going to start off with energynews.com. Report monsoon rains threaten to flood Los Alamos area with plutonium, uranium. Frantic sandbags effort underway in some communities. Tennessee nuclear plant after tornadoes, water in reactor boiled low enough to trigger shutdown alarm. Public not told of problems. This is your highest priority right now. Los Alamos lab trying to stop nuclear contamination from spreading. 800 west waste sites remain. Food safety concerns increasing after government mishandles radioactive beef problem in Japan. Powerful typhoon threatens Japan early next week. Widespread adverse sea impact possible for Fukushima plant. Now you got to remember how radioactive that water is outside of Fukushima there. Entire area of major cities 60 kilometers from Fukushima meltdown is decontaminated is to be decontaminated officials expect the process to take 20 years so they're officially going to try to decontaminate Fukushima city Fukushima Pre prefecture in Japan <laughs> that's a joke uh, report 50,000 plus uh, becquerels radioactive cesium found in soil near Ter Tokyo Terrifying, that sample was from the side of the street where the children walk every day. We have a radioactive leak in a South Carolina nuclear power plant found on July 7th. Repairs are still underway. Apparently uh, over 100 gallons of radioactive water leaked out of a pipe. And another blaze starts at nuclear test sites near Las Vegas, fire located at Area 19. Over to EarthChangesScott.net. We're going to start with uh, another Iceland volcano ready to burst. Iceland is making itself felt, felt again on the world scene with news that the Hekla, one of its more active volcanoes, may begin, may be on the verge of spewing more of that flight disturbing ash in the near future. So Catla's been having some serious activity too. I've got a story on that I'll share. Uh, U.S. Colorado sinkhole closes roads in Longmont. A four foot wide sinkhole in the roadway was forced emergency crews to close Wheel County Road 20, half between County Roads 7 and 1. And they're blaming it on a broken culvert. England, Dorset beachgoers warned to stay away from landslide in Bridport. Beachgoers and fossil hunters have been warned to keep away from a massive landslip at West Bay. Uh, United States, Colorado, landslide spills debris sediment into Dillon water supply. The town will pull from Lasky Gulch while Straight Creek clears. United States help now available as Texans declared a disaster. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has designated 213 counties in Texas as a primary natural disaster area for one of the world's droughts, in one of the worst droughts, in more than a century. Now, the state has sustained excessive heat, high winds, and wildfires that have burned hundreds of thousands of acres. Of course, record-breaking. And uh, here's a shout out to um, Dutch. He's, he made uh, EarthChangesScott.net an insane amount of earthquakes along Ring of Fire. And they are promoting one of Dutch's um, videos. Global Earthquake and Volcano Overview. Worldwide Uptick Continues. And this was uh, back on the 13th. The United States. A girl dies and her father was hurt in a Utah road collapse, crash. And uh, I read the report, there was another lady as well who got injured. Um, I believe she was a 36-year-old lady. 
And uh, this road just opened. A teenage girl was dead and two people injured after a road collapse, leaving a 40-foot wide gap in the eastern Utah Highway. Utah Highway Patrol says heavy rain ho rainfall opened the hole more than 30 feet deep along State Highway 35 late Wednesday. Just insane. Uh, they've got a global warming bullshit story. Loss of world's top predators is previously changed is pervasively changing ecosystems. We've got a story vent. Venutu evacuation alert as volcano rumbles. So here's another great big volcano than the Venutus. A Venutu and Bay volcano has begun spewing volcanic gases as, and residents could be forced to evacuate as part of the island. And I've heard as much as like a couple thousand people. The United Kingdom. 3.9 earthquake strikes in the middle of the channel. Uh, West Sussex residents report building shaking for a few seconds in the 3.9 magnitude earthquake. An earthquake with a magnitude 3.9 has struck the middle of the channel. Residents in parts of West Sussex reported building shakings blah, 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 around 8 a.m. on Thursday. And I believe uh, the British Geological Survey said the earthquake was the largest in the area since a magnitude 4.5 quake in 1734. Over to the extinction protocol. Earthquake swarm continues into second day around the Virgin Islands. Um, Puerto Rico. Virgin Islands, the quakes in the latest swarm range from the magnitude 2.0 to 3.9. And they're very deep quakes given the geological nature of the region. Uh, cattle die of water death in Texas as drought conditions worsen, and uh, they've just declared that a disaster area, of course. Indonesia's Mount Lokon volcano unleashes powerful eruption. Uh, Jakarta, an Indonesian volcano erupted late Thursday, spewing rocks, lava, and ash hundreds of meters into the air, an official said, three days after its alert status was raised to the highest level. Floods and drought, Ethiopia gyrates between dangers, climate change, extremes. And they're going to go from extreme drought to extreme flooding. And again, with the, with the, the plant loss, it's just going to be a huge mess. And of course, uh, the crops are just suffering. Here's the Vanuatu story. Um, they've got a new study finds minor planets and asteroid belt have highly unstable orbits. And uh, they've got a dawn probe will encounter the series on February 2015. At present, dawn is approaching Vesta, and the flyby will occur on this coming Saturday, July 16th, 2011. So they've got a probe out here uh, in, the meteor, in the meteor belt checking things out. And over to, there's the Katla story. Minor earthquake in Iceland's Katla volcano. An earthquake registering 2.6 on the Richter scale occurred in the volcano Katla below the ice cap around 4 p.m. Uh, the epicenter was at a depth of approximately 3 kilometers. And um, it's not uncommon for Katla to get earthquakes but uh, I've been keeping an eye on it, and the earthquakes are severely on the uptick uh, here of late. Over to the RSOE. Uh, they've got the Katla Volcano. Vanuatu. Um, the Volcano in Indonesia. And the Hekla Volcano, which is about ready to erupt. Uh, or hailstorms out of Colorado, Denver. Romania is reporting a heat wave statewide. Still more flash flooding in China. Heat wave in Bosnia Herzegovina statewide. Tornadoes in Alberta, Canada, Calgary. And that is about it for today. If I find anything else, I will definitely let you know. 
uh, post your comments or attach your videos below. And just remember everybody, enjoy what you can.